I would like to thank one of my viewers for raising this question. Do atoms exist? So in this video, I will try to use language and logic. I won't present to you any flashy, colorful diagrams and things like that. But we're just going to stay by something very, very basic. But before I do that, I want you to say it is, see that it is time for truth. <laughs> okay. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Greek word, and it's right in front of you, the Greek word. Okay, you're looking at the Greek language, the origin of this word, and its meaning at the time would have been supposedly around 400 B.C., now, it's hard to trust all the dating and all the characters in history, but we have to start somewhere. So we're going to start with the Greek language. Now, the word atom is in front, atomos is in front of you. So this would be like an A, this would be like a T, that's like an O, and that's like an M, an O, and an S. Atomos. Now, the A or the alpha is separated from the uh, root word, tomas. Now, tomas is derived from cutting or splitting. So, if you put A in front of it, it negates what comes after it. So for example, the word atheist. A theist is someone who believes in God. An atheist is someone who does not believe in God. The letter A or the alpha negates it. So this means cutting or split. A cutting or something split. So something that cannot be cut or split. That which cannot be cut or split. Adam. Now, that's the origin of the English word. So, just on the basis of the origin of the word, I'm going to say to you that Atoms exist in theory, but atoms do not exist in reality. Now, once again, it goes back to uh, one of the concepts that I had in my uh, name of different uh, channels that I chose. And one of the channels that I designated as real or real, R-E-A-L or R-E-E-L. Is it real, as in reality? Or is it um, something that's, that's only presented to you in terms of uh, film, fantasy, real, R-E-E-L? Now, atoms are, in a sense, fantasy. And it comes back to the meaning that was originally established in that A, Tomas, Adam, that which cannot, this is cut, cutting, split, that which has been cut or cut or split, and this is negates it, that which cannot be cut or split. Cannot. So, if I put an apple in front of you right now, and I had a knife, and I started to cut it in half, and then cut the halves in halves, quarter it, and then cut the, the quarters in half, all right? 
could I continue to cut every single shred of the apple? Well, in a practical sense, my knife would not be small enough to divide the piece of apple. But even if I could acquire an instrument that would divide the apple at its tiniest level, there would still be a particle in existence. Now, the Greeks theorized that you will reach a point at which it cannot be divided. And that is what they call an atom. Okay? Now, do they actually exist? No, they can't exist because in reality, real, R-E-A-L, you can always split something. The problem is not that you ca cannot split it. The problem is you don't have an instrument small enough to split it. Now, what they're saying is, in hoax history, that according to science, which is pseudoscience, the atom was split. Now that's nonsense, and here's why it's nonsense, because it's double talk. And double talk is presented to you as being brilliant. If the definition is that which cannot be split, how, how can it be split? <laughs> now, there will be people listening to me right now that will want to bail out, and that's okay with me, bail out if you want. But here's the truth of the matter. You've been hoaxed. There's no such thing as an atomic bomb. Because what they teach in their pseudoscience is that somehow in the depths of these particles in the atom, there's an incredible amount of energy. And when you bust the atom, it releases energy. Now think about it. You can't even see the darn thing. And then out of this thing called an atom comes this explosion that's going to take out an entire city. It's nonsense. <laughs> but the nonsense is packaged as being brilliant. And we got our stupid formula E equals MC squared, which I did have done a video on that, and that is just downright witchcraft. So back to the original question, do they do atoms exist? They exist in theory, postulations. There is no proof anywhere about an atom existing. You have stories of magical things happening, like the Manhattan Project, whereby the atom was split, and then Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where the world was shown the power of the atom. No, the world was shown the power of witchcraft. So, do atoms exist? Well, the ancient Greeks around uh, 
400 BC, you see the name before you here, Democritus postulated, theorized that there would be something in this physical existence that could never be split by a knife or by anything. And if that is the definition, how in the world could you split it? <laughs> and so basically what they're saying is the language that you learned doesn't apply anymore. And that's basically what a lot of hoaxing is about. Taking language and assigning it a new meaning. In one of the words, I'm not going to say the word, but it begins with the letter V and in its Latin origin was singular. No plural existed and it had a very simple basic meaning. Secretion of poison. Either from obviously A, a plant, or B, an animal. And the most obvious animal is the serpent. So now that word coming out of Latin, goes into English with an entirely new definition. So I'm borrowing a slide here from somewhere, I don't know. But notice, whoever's used this slide in their teaching, got the, got the definition there, individual, indivisible, no experiments to support this idea. <laughs> so you can make up anything you want about atoms. <laughs> and you can come up with all kinds of charts. You can come up with all kinds of faces to tell you about the power of an atom. But what I'm telling you about is the power of witchcraft. To take a word and then allow it to have its meaning changed, redefined, and assigned a bunch of BS called science. Beware of so-called science. Folks, there were no nuclear bombs dropped because they didn't exist. What was dropped was a bomb on your head, a bomb to your mind, making you believe that somehow something you can't even see with your eye, when you open it up, it releases this enormous power and causes enormous destruction. You know who is called the destroyer in the Bible? Apollyon, the devil. <laughs> so, the destruction that's done by the atomic nonsense is a destruction of language and logic. Well, back to, my, back to my listener, back to my viewer, I do want to thank you for raising the question, and I'm sure that some have, or who watch, will watch this will want to say, this is not good science. Yeah, you're right, it's not, because mostly science is a hoax. <laughs> and you've been hoaxed, and you've been duped, and you've had a nuclear bomb dropped on your head. Atoms, do they exist? Not really. They're just a postulation and a theory. And if there is a theory, 
what they're saying is it's the end of the line. Nobody splits them. <laughs> Your head's been split by Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Well, I hope this was some truth for you. I don't know if you were helped or hurt. <laughs> Or you want to scream at me. That's not scientific. It's not scientific. But I believe I've just given you truth. Thank you for watching.